You ever wonder why Batman never grew a beard? Well, now it's obvious. Hey, it's me guys, Travis from Dev Tips. I'm here in my bedroom tonight because my wife is out of town on a trip and I'm here with the kids, so I can't go down to the garage and record when the kids are sleeping in their beds because what if they wake and start running riots inside the house and I'm unaware and, uh, you know, start stabbing themselves with scissors and you know, peeing on the floors, I don't know, whatever kids do. So I am making a quick tip for you guys. I found a cool thing that I've been using uh, for the past little bit, and it's really helped me w uh, when I'm coding responsive uh, web designs. So when you're coding responsive sites, you use media queries to create little breakpoints. And usually to test those breakpoints, I'm naturally grabbing the edge of the browser and yanking them all around like a madman. And now it's not exactly easy to uh, to target um, you, the the width that you have and um, to to emulate specific devices like iPads or uh, mobile phones or whatever. But I found this really cool app in the Chrome App Store that is that'll assist us with this problem. So. Um, here we are at the start page of my Google on my Chrome. <clears throat> I'm going to run down here to the web store and the app is called Dimensions. I think. Dimension? It'd be better if I could spell. Okay, so I'm going to add Dimension to Chrome. And here it is on my home page, or my start page added. It's pretty cool. What I can do here is it, it is, and it's cool because it'll um, show up offline or off, uh, online or offline. I don't need to be connected to the internet to use this, even though it goes through Chrome. So, and that'll become cool in a moment. So I can go to any old web page. Like I'm going to grab this URL here of this design that I know is pretty cool and responsive and type it in and click test. Now, I have a few preset widths that I can test, and I can see that this thing collapses easily to a phone, a wide phone, a tablet, it looks a little different, a wide tablet, and a, and a desktop size. It looks quite different between the, the three or four different resolutions. And just with a click of a button, I can easily snap my browser width to the size that my uh, viewer would be looking at. Uh, I can even use this handlebar here to drag it out um, in between these breakpoints and to see you know, where the line breaks end and, and just kind of the fiddly bits of, of doing responsive design. So that's the awesome bit about this. Now you can do this with any website on the internet and see how they hold up and you can also use it to test your own websites. Now you, usually when you're designing you're coding your site. It's gonna you're gonna do it. You're gonna develop locally, obviously, right? So um, here's the thing: when I click on this home page, it opens up in the um, in the browser. But you'll notice that the file path is file colon slash slash users home desktop. Like it's the local path on my hard drive. And when I try to throw that into dimensions, I'm going to copy that, paste that into here. Look at what happens. We get an unresolved for the DNS. So if I can clear this URL out, you can notice that it says enter the URL HTTP or localhost. Now that means you can run local files, but it has to be on a local server still. So let me show you quickly how to do that. Um, if I open up a terminal and I can CD into the drive. Now, a programmer will do more fancy ways. A, a real programmer will do more fancy ways of finding your folder, but there's this cool visual trick is you do CD and then you just drag your directory on top and it just gives the path to that directory. So it's really easy and then hit enter and now your your terminal is pointed 
at the directory that contains your site. Now, you don't have to download anything special. You already have this built into your Mac, and I believe your PC too. It's uh, this little line of text that says Python M simple with a capital S HTTPS or HTTP capital S server. So this creates a, a little little server that runs locally on your machine inside that folder. So I'm going to hit enter and it'll do some thinking and notice it says it's serving on port 8000. So if I go back to this uh, tab and I write local host uh, port 811 uh, there we go local host port 8000. Now I have this website that I'm working on and I don't have to drag it around like I used to. I could just take that local host, throw it in dimensions here, and test it out in the different browser widths. This is cool. I really like the way this works. Um, yeah, so that's just one quick tip for today uh, to use dimensions to uh, work easy, easier, faster, quicker um, on on responsive designs. Now this has all been one take, that's why it sounds kind of horrible and I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but what else was I going to say? Oh yes, I would still recommend that you after you've done your design work here, I wouldn't rely completely on this, although it's it's going to be fine, but um, always check your work in the actual devices because you're never quite sure unless you see it on every device that you're targeting. So, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Uh, I'm Travis Nielsen, this is Dev Tips, and today we learned about a uh, Chrome extension called Dimensions. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and uh, We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for stopping by.